For lack of a better term, today's boat adventure is going to be fueled out of the 10 meter party box, which pretty much includes everything I need antenna, some batteries, antenna throw line, which I don't need the throw weight, but I may need the line. Um, I do have equipment for solar, but I don't think I need that. I even brought test equipment out here just in case. And I do have a power meter as well because we're going to be testing a couple of radios, but um, let's just get started with one right now. Coax, <laughs> our Anytone uh, radio. And we have assorted power connections and all kinds of other stuff too, so I'll drag some of that stuff out. Chameleon sent me their new Lefts antenna. So this is going to be configured in the NFED half wave configuration, not the dipole, but you could do either NFED or dipole. Uh, so let's get that set up. Kit comes with some nice wire terminated at the end on one side, terminate on the other end with a load bearing carabiner, and then a part that connects to the antenna. So we just go in like this, clip, and then this can go around and connect to the flugel nest, as we like to call it. Hang this off my tactical mass works here. Ah, NFED, meaning the choke needs to be on the radio side. You will need the uh, choking to be done right before the radio termination, not uh, at the antenna side. You need the coax braid. So if you get that ABR coax like I recommend with the choke on one end, this needs to go to your radio. If this were a dipole configuration, you'd have it at the antenna side. Coax. Probably not my proudest setup, but uh, I think it works okay. So, here's the wire. Let's take a look at what we got on the other end of this antenna here. <sighs> so, we're going to go ham. So, we're 1.82 on 20 meters. 17 meters, we expect nothing. 15 meters, we'll get something. Not bad, actually, it dips way low. Uh, 12, we don't expect anything, but 10, we need 10. Oh, yeah, look at that. 1.6, that's exactly where we wanna be. A little high, it's gonna get up to 1.2, probably in our operating space. We're gonna kill it right now on 10 meters. Yeah, I'm loving it. All right. Battery time, we'll start out with this uh, 9 amp hour. There's no time to explain. So many things are happening right now. What the hell? Why is this open? I left this open. I just dropped the lens. Holy crap. Victor Echo, much better when I'm paying attention. You're 5858, my park, Victor Echo, 0166, to us, huh? Victor Echo. Roger, thanks for uh, Arizona. I hope you have a great day and uh, hunt all the parks. Victor Echo. Break with you. Um, QRZ, Victor Echo 3, radio golf, Ont
Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Josh, you're 4x2, 4x2, my part, Victor Echo 0166, QSL. All right, let me make sure I got that park right. Victor Echo 2166. Uh, that you are a 5555 into park kilo 1139 QSL uh, What was the 39 your, what's your park number? Kilo 1139 kilo 1139 QSL 1139 uh, the park here Victor Echo 0166 and I have you 4x2 4x2 Copy, 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 copy. That's uh, Victor Echo 0166. Thank you for the QSO. Good luck out there. I do you as well. Uh, as well. And, it's, and I have it correct. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. You got it. You got it. Thanks a lot for the contact. Roger. Thanks for having fun, Josh. Enjoy this channel. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay. So there's one. It's that easy, guys. Who's, who would have thought 10 meters? Not a good band for parks on the air? Particularly all you you technicians out there getting started in the in the, in the hobby? Where else are you gonna go? That's what you got, man. All right, this activation is brought to you by Lee's, they say Lee's Cafe, but really it's, it's Lee's Sandwiches. It's a Vietnamese uh, sandwich place. I got a sandwich over there, combination number 11. Their coffee's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna use the app to make a spot for myself. CQ, 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 Parks on the Air, Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. K1, KIM. Uh, K1, come again. K, was it K1, QSL? Kilowatt 1, Kilowatt India, Mike. K1, KIM, you're 5959 into Park Kilo, 1139. Uh, roger that. You are a 57. Uh, great audio into Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, thank you very much for that. I'll take the 5.7. I am talking to you on a $250 10-meter only radio. How's that sound? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I started with one that had uh, crystals for 10-meter only, and I got out. I remember back in the late 70s, early 80s, when with uh, 10 watts, uh, we would cut to Europe all evening long. Yeah, doing this to kind of show as an example to technicians everywhere that they can get out on the air, just like this on Parks on the Air. So thank you so much for the contact, and 73 to you. That is a Kilo Charlie 3 X, uh, Echo X-Ray Oscar. Is that a QSL? QSL, QSL, Echo X-Ray Oscar. Yeah, I've got you guys uh, 57, 57 in the Eastern Pennsylvania, QSL. Uh, QSL, QSL, got you a 5555 into Park Kilo 1139. Kilo Fox 4 Delta Victor Whiskey. Uh, Kilo Fox 4 Delta Victor Whiskey, huge signal. 5-9 into Park Kilo 1139. Uh, appreciate the 5-9. Roger that, Josh. I've got you at a great, uh, probably about 5 to 10 over here in northeast Alabama. <laughs> great signal, and uh, wish I'd gotten on 10 meters a lot sooner in life. Uh, QSL, I love to hear it, love to hear it. Yeah, this is, uh, radio's doing just fine for what we need right now, so thank you for the contact, 7-3. Uh, 7-3, have a great activation. Alpha Charlie 5 Oscar. Alpha Charlie 5 Oscar, big signal 5-9 here in Depart Kilo, 1139. Thanks for 1139, 59, Louisiana. Thank you for Louisiana, 73. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm kind of riding, this is called the Clarifier. And uh, it is a, it's like a BFO or filter for the receive side of the radio. You're still going to be transmitting on the fundamental frequency, but it, it oftentimes will help with the tonal quality of the station calling you. It's a holdover from the, C, uh, the CB world. Charlie Yankee. Uh, Kilo 9, Lima, Charlie, Yankee, 5959 into Park Kilo, 1139. QSL, the 5-9. Uh, you are 5757 Central Indiana, QSL. All right, thanks so much. This is Parks on the Air, QRZ. Yes, we're showing the cluster, Josh, Alpha, Charlie, 5, Oscar. Alpha, Charlie, 5, Oscar, thanks so much. This is Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, calling CQ, Parks on the Air. I got a Whiskey Alpha. Was it a Whiskey Alpha station? Come back. Whiskey Alpha number two, number two, Victor United Yankee. 
Whiskey Alpha 2, Victor United Yankee. A little bit of a difficult copy. You're about a five, a four, five, four, five in the park kilo, 11.39. I love it. Thank you so much for the contact. Seven three. Kilowatt Echo Charlie Eight Victor Romeo Papa. I think that was a Kilowatt Echo Six. Kilowatt Echo Six. Come again. Kilowatt Echo Six Queen Echo Yankee. There was it. Kilowatt Echo Six Queen Echo Yankee. You're a five five fifty five and a park kilo eleven thirty nine. I copy eleven thirty nine. You copy five nine plus in the Charlotte North Carolina. There was it. All right, thank you for Charlotte, North Carolina. Appreciate it. Kilo Charlie 8, Victor Romeo Papa. All right, let me make sure I got that. Kilo Charlie 8, Victor Romeo Papa. Is that QSL? Roger, 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 Roger. I have you a, a nice, strong 5.7 five, seven, five, seven into Detroit, Michigan. Roger. All right, love it. Thank you so much. Got you at a 5.555 five, in a park. Kilo 11.39. Thank you for the contact. 7.3. I got a Victor Oscar Hotel something. Go ahead. All right, Kilo Charlie 3, Victor, Oscar Hotel, copy the 5-2. You're a 4-5-4-5 into Park Kilo 1139. QSL? QSL. Excellent. Thank you for the contact, 7-3. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, QRZ. Kilowatt 4, Echo Mike. Kilowatt 4, Echo Mike. I think you blew up the speaker on this uh, this cheap 10-meter radio. You are, uh, I don't know, 10 over 5-9 into Park Kilo 1139. Uh, QSL, thanks for the uh, 59. You're about a 5 and 656 near Atlanta, Georgia. QSL? Uh, QSL, QSL. Thanks so much for the contact. 7-3. 7-3. Kilowatt November 4, Oscar Kilo. Kilowatt November 4, Oscar Kilo. 5555 in a Park Kilo 1139. Roger, roger. You're 5959 in Alabama. Thanks. Thanks for Bama. Appreciate it. 7-3. Kilo India 4, Victor Kilo Charlie. Uh, 4444 into Park Kilo 1139. Roger, Roger. I've got you a 5 7 into Georgia. QSL Georgia, thank you so much for the contact. 7 3. This is Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo Alpha 6, Victor Papa Juliet. All right, got the Kilo Alpha 6, Victor Papa Juliet. You're 5 5 55 into Park Kilo 1139. Uh, QSL, we're working ground wave, it sounds like, then, between here, uh, Chino Hill State Park, and where you're at in Anaheim. Thank you for the contact, 7-3. All right, this is Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, Parks on the Air, QRZ. All right, I got a Kilo November 4 something. Come back. All right, I've got the, the volume cranked as much as I can go. I think I got a Kilo November 4 Mike something. Okay, Kilo November 4 Mike Zulu Quebec. Is that a QSL? Got it, got it. Okay, we're playing with the clarifier a little bit. You're down uh, you know, 3333 three, three into part Kilo 1139, but we're making it. All right, I copy that. Thank you so much for the contact. 7-3. Uh, KI-6-N-A-Z, Whiskey Bravo 7, Papa, Mexico, Papa. Kilo Bravo 7, Papa, Mike, Papa. You are 5-9 into Park Kilo 11-39. Yeah, well, it's WB-7, but uh, you got the rest of it fine. Oh. Um, yeah, it's it. a difficult call. You're 59, actually, into Echo Mike 95 uh, in North Carolina, a bit north of Charlotte. KI-6 November Alpha Zulu WB-7 PMP. Hey, thank you for the correction there. Corrected it to Whiskey Bravo. I actually wrote that down correctly in the log, but I just didn't say it right. But we got you. Thank you for the contact. And 7-3. Uh, 73. This is Whiskey... Now, now I'm doing it. This is Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu for Parks on the Air, QRZ. I got a Kilo India 4 Yankee Zulu Oscar 5555 five, five, five in a park Kilo 1139. Roger, copy the 5-5. Five, five. You're about a 5-3 in Alabama. All right, thank you for Alabama. Appreciate it. 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Seven, 
three. Good luck. All right, we're doing some good work here. So let's go again. CQ, CQ for Parks on the Air. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Was that a KI-4, KI-4 station? Go again. Kilo, November 4. All right, I think I got a Kilo, November 4. Is it Romeo, Romeo, Charlie? Okay, copy that. Kilo, November 4, Romeo, Charlie, Charlie. A little bit of dyslexia there on my part. I got you in the log. Good, tough copy, though. Tough copy. You're about a 4444 four, four, four. into park. Kilo, 1139. Very good. I got you about a 45 into Florida. All right, all the way down to Florida. Thank you for the contact. 7 3. That was 18 QSOs. You see that? 18 QSOs, 1831 to 1854. So less than 30 minutes, we activated the park. Boom, just like that. And yeah, I got a, I got a pretty nice, you know, wire antenna set up here, but this is all completely doable by technicians. You guys would kill it out here if you were on the air right now. CQ, CQ, CQ for Parks on the Air, Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. I got a Kilo Charlie. Is that a Kilo Charlie? Go ahead. All right, we got it. Kilo Charlie 2, Sierra Kilo Mike. You're 4 4 into Park Kilo 1139. All right, love it. Thank you for uh, New Jersey. 73 to you. Uniform. Kilo Whiskey 4, Lima Uniform, 5-9 into Park Kilo, 1139. Excellent, Josh. Love your videos. 5-9, uh, Tennessee, Tango November. Hey, thank you for Tennessee. Appreciate it. 73. 20 QSOs in, like, no time. No time flat. Look at that. Can't beat that. Solid radio. Can't complain about the AT... <sighs> <laughs> the AT6666, but we got something new here. We're gonna try. The good folks at Radioddity actually sent me their new radio, and that was even after I gave them kind of a scathing review of that QT40. This is the QT60. This is supposed to advertise the stuff that I wanted to see, uh, and I have done nothing other than add an Anderson. So that's all I've done here. So we're gonna go straight to this. We're literally gonna get it on the air right now. Bigger, it's a bigger boy. Big old heat sink on this thing too. There we go. Alpha Romeo. Whoa. She's from Florida. <laughs> Look at this big old screen on this thing. Let's see what you're throwing down here. Let's let's take a look at this. Where's the? Uh, let's see. We got to get out of mode. Okay. Don't like that. Can we click down? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that is really loud. I need to get rid of this tone. Okay, good. Okay, Kilo India 6, November off of Zulu. Is this frequency in use? Can I come on back to it? All right, gotcha. Kilo Sugar 4 Sugar 59 into Park Kilo Kilo India 6, November off of Zulu, parks on the air. Oh, somebody's got, somebody's got some scratchy signal. This is CQ, 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 CQ parks on the air. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Oh, you poor baby. Your intent, your radio doesn't work. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, parks on the air. Kilo India 5 Fox Whiskey Japan, you are a 5-5 five five in the park Kilo 1139. Roger, Roger, you are a 5-5-7, five 5-5-7 five five here in the New York on the remote station. 
Sebastian from the side boom just got down. <laughs> side boom just got down. Well, I'm I'm talking to you on the new Radiodity QT60. How's my audio report? Uh, you're sounding good. Uh, before you took the break, you were actually like uh, 0.5 KC up, so it was uh, kind of sounding weird. But uh, you're back on frequency now. Well, so I was trying two different radios. So the first one was that uh, radio. Oh, what was that? The Anytone AT6666. This is that Radiodity Q. T60, the new one. Um, it's bigger, but you know what? I think it sounds better, uh, definitely on the receive side. And it sounds like I'm also a little bit straighter on uh, on the transmit too. Yeah, you're sounding good. Uh, when I when I moved up uh, to, to find the to match your uh, TX frequency, you sounded good on the first radio. It was just uh, a bit off uh, off frequency. This one actually sounds just as good, uh, but you're actually on frequency. Good stuff. Uh, QSL, it's always good to be on frequency. So thank you for the contact, man, from Sideboom. Appreciate it. 73, man. Kilo, Kilo 4, Victor, November, Alpha. Kilo, Kilo 4, Victor, November, Alpha. You are 5-5 five, five into Park Kilo, 1139. Roger, you're on 57 in Kentucky. Roger. QSL, thank you for Kentucky and 73. Oh, I think we got, I think we got some adjacent signals on us. I'm sorry if I'm doubling up with you guys. This little thing's running, trying to run some DX right now. Let's go. So 20 contacts in, uh, in 30 minutes, roughly 60 watt output is my guess. And so yes, uh, got to put on my, my thinking caps here just so everybody understands. To be honest with you, I didn't grow up with CBs, so I didn't use the, the power dial, and I must have budged, uh, like bumped it. Uh, they both put out 60 watts with no problem, AT66 or this uh, Radiodity QT60. So good stuff, both uh, both work great. But I activated the park in no time with that AT66, less than 30 minutes, got to about 20 contacts, and we're just adding to it now. So having some fun out here. Sierra Echo Kilo got you at a 3-3 into Park Kilo 1139. Alright, copy the 3-3 both ways. Thank you for the contact, 7-3. It was a tough one, but we made it. 7-3. Whiskey 4, Jerusalem. Whiskey 4, Germany, America. Uh, QSL, 5-5 five, five both ways in a park kilo, 1139. Thank you for the contact in 7-3. November 6th, Kilowatt, Japan Hotel. Uh, GM 57 into Anaheim, California. What's your QTH? Uh, my QTH is Chino Hill State Park at park kilo, 1139, a part of the Parks on the Air system. Okay, ground loop, ground loop, 73. That's right, we're running ground wave. <laughs> Directly to you, I'm running a long wire at about 25 feet up in the air. So the market for these inexpensive 10 meter radios is heating up. You now have the Radiodity QT60, which I'm showing here. Uh, at the same time, I was running the AT6666, both 10 meter only radios, perfect for a technician that's just getting started. <laughs> Kilo Charlie 4, Tango Victor Zulu. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. CQ, CQ, this is Kilo Charlie 4, Tango Victor Zulu. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Alpha Zulu. Hadn't I talked to you before? Uh, yes, sir. About a month or so ago. How you doing today? Okay, thanks. Have a nice day. Hey, thank you for the contact. 7-3. Here's it. I mean, that's that's the epitome of how you know it's going to if it's a good radio, right? If you, if you get the beacon to reply to you. By the way, somebody asked me what does it mean that we call him the beacon. Well, this is what he does all the time. And if you hear that, that means it's probably pretty good because I believe he's in the great state of Tennessee. Where is he? He'd probably get mad at me. Or is it Alabama? It might be Alabama. I don't remember. Either way, uh, the fact that the, the the band is open means I can hear him, right? He's a beacon. He does reply. He's replied to me twice now, so you know. Yeah, you get the idea. Hello, the 
Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Alright, for those of you that don't know the joy of a Vietnamese sandwich, before the Americans got involved in Vietnam, uh, the French had a large influence, including things like the baguette, right? So, Vietnamese sandwiches feature things like baguettes, and pate, and delicious um, Vietnamese pickled veggies, cilantro, mayonnaise, different kind of mayonnaise than you'd expect. Really good. Mmm. Or is there any other stations out there in the West? November 9, November, United, Quebec. Kilo, India 6, November, Alpha, Zulu. Uh, Kilo, India 6, November, Alpha, Zulu. I got you in there. A little bit light, but I can hear you. Uh, the name is Robert. We're located in Chicago. Over. QSL, QSL. Name here is Josh. I'm talking to you on a 60 watt, 10 meter only radio here with uh, just a long wire out in uh, Chino Hills, California. Uh, we got you there, Josh. No problem. You're about a five and five. You're making the trip, no problems at all. It's a uh, overcast kind of day today, gloomy, so to speak, and rainy and drizzling, so, but uh, decent propagation, enough that I can hear uh, signals coming out of the west. So, um, uh, what kind of radio is it uh, that you're operating again over? Uh, yeah, I'm just doing a real cheapy radio here. This is a Radiodity uh, Quebec Tango 60. About 60 watt, 10 meter only radio. I'm doing a bit of a re review on it to see how it performs. Was here and down south into South America, but uh, not much other DX other than that. You're a great signal though. 5-9 here again into Chino Hills, California. QSL? Yeah, Roger. Now, what antenna? Tell me about you. I know you mentioned your antenna. What antenna are you on right now? Over. Yeah, this is a portable setup. I've actually got a rollover mast stand for my truck uh, with about a 25-foot vertical mast with a long wire. I think it's uh, probably a 49 to 1 un -un, uh to what looks like about 60 feet of wire to a tree. Oh, that's fantastic there. Well, it's doing a good job, you know. We're looking for good propagation. You know, uh, we don't need it. We just need decent propagation. But their setup is doing really good there. Not a problem. I'm on a Elecraft radio, K4 Delta, Elecraft amp, KPA 500, probably pushing over 400 watts. The mic is a high OPR 40 and uh, up about 45 feet on the towers on 8 element force 12. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. we got four elements on this band. Sounded so, good. Uh, and we got to you know, straight into the west coast, Josh, over. Uh, yeah, QSL, QSL, you got a real full audio, but uh, yeah, we're waiting for those propagations to open, but you know what, you sound real good regardless. Yeah, she's been acting up pretty good, the propagation, the last couple of days. I mean, I know you work easy, the, the Pacific, but for me, I don't hear them too often, but yesterday we got in there, and then uh, an old friend came back to me from uh, Australia last week, they ended up talking for a while, and uh, he was waking up to a new day out that way, and... Um, and then uh, we did, uh, today we got into uh, Nambia here on 10 meters, so in South oh, wow. Africa. So a couple of these two days with this type of propagation. And uh, I did hear Japanese yesterday. I was beaming over the North Pole. I, I could hear them, mm. but I don't think I could have worked them. But Josh, uh, maybe uh, things are turning around. Over. Yeah, I, I hope so. I hope so. That's a that's a good contact from you down to Australia. I, I have uh, not much of a problem making it to Australia or Japan. Uh, it's that South African, the Nambia station, that that's my difficulty. So, yeah, we're 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 hoping for the good days here, which should be coming soon. We're still we're not at peak yet, not even close to peak yet. So, I'm hoping for a big one. Yeah, Roger. Hi, right, Josh. Hey, well, enjoy your time out there. Relax and. Uh... And uh, thanks for coming back to the call, letting me go. You're sounding pretty good out there, so it's working. That's all that counts. Uh, don't need to be strong, just be good enough. Yeah. Kilo on India 6, November off of Zulu, and NUQ. Have a good time out there. N9 NUQ, thank you for the contact. I really do appreciate you uh, verifying my setup for me. So, Kilo India 6, November off of Zulu, Hardy 7-3, and good luck out there. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, QRZ, any other Here's stations a good out there in the West? Really good November signal. November 9, November, United, Quebec. Okay, so what's all this about? Why am I, why am I doing all this? Well, I, I did that review of the Anytone AT6666, 
And I got somebody that was real spicy in the comments. Uh, it makes YouTube videos. It's not worth mentioning, and, and nor am I looking for um, anybody to go after him. But there, there seems to be this misconception that you have to do radio a certain way. And that there must be a right way to do radio. For a lot of you, a 10 meter only radio like this may not be the way. Why? Well, because you're probably going to step into general in the future. Or you're going to, you know, um, like, well, step into general is the right answer. And you're going to get another multi-band radio. You're going to operate on things like 20 meters and, you know, more consistent bands. The thing is, and again, these are those moments that you're going to remember um, in your amateur radio career when there was a high solar cycle. And where were you when there was the high solar cycle of 2024, 2025, right? So we've got two years where radios like this, you know, inexpensive 10 meter only radios are going to be effective. And even though I've got a big honking long wire, you don't need that. You could do a 10 meter dipole. You could do a 10 meter vertical. You could do a, a ham stick on the top of your car and you're going to do really well. So what does that mean? Well, what, what, what's your money worth? You know what they tell you sometimes? If you go buy a suit, you know, as a gentleman, uh, how many times you wear it, you start deducting the price of how much it costs you, right? Every time you use it, you deduct the price. If this gets you out in the field as a technician and gets you on parks on the air, then that's really all that matters. And you're going to be the one that justifies this purchase. Turn $260 into 20 outings, what'd that cost you? A little over $10 an outing? Not bad at all. And uh, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, this is a, a wonderful thing to do uh, for $10 every time you go out, right? Now, of course, you, you got to have a battery and an antenna and feed line and all that stuff, but you get the idea because all that other stuff, the battery, the feed line, the antennas, that all goes to your next radio, right? That's your, that's your gear that you carry on. The radio may change, but this other stuff, it's going to be kind of universal. So I hope you keep that in mind when you think about radios like these, or at least think about people who may use them, like you technicians, get on 10 meters, let's do it. And when you're done with the radio, pass it on to a new technician and get them on HF. Get them interested in getting out into the wider world of amateur radio. I hope you enjoyed this on what you can do with a 10 meter radio, right? Why not? Let's go. All right, I think that's gonna do it for me. I think I proved my point, which is always what I try to do. Let's <laughs> prove my point. <laughs> Let's pack up, show you how easy this is. Now, I appreciate that my setup here is is pretty nice. This mast is, is pretty expensive, but I could have done a similar thing by going up into this tree, throwing a line, and then running it over to the other tree. That would have been fine too. And actually, I got a throw weight bag just in case I wanted to do that. This is a, a Weaver throw line. Weaver is a, a brand of uh, actual cordage that arborists use, special line designed to go through trees effectively. And along with it, I have a little throw bag. I've used this on many occasions. Just a 12 ounce throw bag. 12 ounce is kind of the sweet spot for going through the trees easy. And this is a Tom Bin stuff sack. I used to have a much bigger cube that I would take with me all over the place. Too much. I just decided to pack it all down into this and it's perfect. I'll post links in the description. The chameleon antenna kit comes with this little bag and I'm just going to throw my antenna right back into it. And my last big thing is I got to take care of this coax and my mask. So let's do that now. Uh, thank you, Leia. I appreciate your homesick and you let me do this. I'm starting to get a sore throat too. So I'm getting out of here. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. Technicians, get out here. Parks on the air. Let's do it. You got a couple of years where it's going to be amazing. Make use of them. You're going to regret it if you don't. Now, I appreciate that my setup here is is pretty nice. This mast is, is pretty expensive, but I could have done a similar thing by going up into this tree, throwing a line, and then running it over to the other tree. That would have been fine too. And I actually got a throw weight bag 